Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. My name is Elik. <laughs> Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now, I present to you our host, LJP Tech. So finally, we got the... Um, um, Eric, what is this thing called again? Uh, okay. What? Right, so... Oh, Elix. Not only we got one, not only two, but three Elix to review here. So I'm very excited about this robot here. This is probably one of the most anticipated most popular upcoming uh, robot of 2022 and i participated on the kickstarter campaign and finally i got three with me so i'm really excited to do the unboxing and share with you what this robot can do so enough said let's get into the unboxing and review so here it goes so before we open up the box i just want to emphasize that this has 450 milliamp hour battery that will last up to one and a half hours i'm sure many of you are going to ask me that question so the rest of these details i'll explain to you as we go through the alic itself so the cover comes out and you can see all these lovely cartoons which i don't want to actually tear Oh, you have to actually cut it to be able to see all these animations, but opening up the box and that's how it looks. There you go, people. We got Elik here, ready to entertain me. These are the quick uh, start guides of what you can do. Uh, so please do pause and check it out. And it's actually from Energize Lab. Really cool company indeed. And that's how the package looks. Really nice package. The front cover, I have to say, is a bit weak, but it doesn't matter. It's all down to the actual robot itself. But before we get into the robot, it's actually bigger than I thought. I mean, if you consider the size of my hand, I thought it's going to be like that sort of size, but it's bigger, which is good, actually. So you get a better value for the money you pay. And if you open up the box, we got the manual. So I'm just going to quickly flick through that. That's just how you actually can play and just guideline basically. So please do pause and check it out. We got the USB-C uh, to USB uh, cable. And also, oh, these are the stickers. And oh, I see, these are the magnets that I've been hearing about. So basically, if you look at the uh, box here, it explains that you attach these magnetic stuff on the uh, left-hand side arm of Elik because there's the hidden magnetic on the left-hand side arm. Okay, so you attach and then Elik can move around and so on. So we got the uh, pizza. What is this? A bread? Uh, kind of like Coca-Cola-ish drink. Okay, and this is like a cake or some sort of like a sweetening stuff and a cup of coffee. So you can have good fun with Elik there. And um, that's pretty much it. So to the actual robot itself, if you open up, oh, that's a proper motor sound. So we got the uh, cover protection here. Now, just to run through, uh, we got the shock sensor on the top hidden here. And this is the touch sensor, this bit, okay? So different color of blue. I love this blue color for display. And this is apparently a um, OLED display. That's very good. Uh, we got the button here. And also the vibration is somewhere here apparently. That's what you can see from the box. And uh, our microphone is on this hole here. A touch sensor on the front. And also touch sensor on the uh, back. What is quite interesting is that uh, it has a shock sensor on the top of the head here, while there's touch sensor on the top, uh, sorry, on the front and the back. Okay, and also the speaker 
And I, I guess this is like a source of, um, I don't know, probably a speaker. Technically, it looks like a ear, but this is the microphone. Um, and we got the infrared sensor. I didn't know that. So basically, there's an infrared sensor here somewhere. Um, I don't know whether you can see that. That between those two, uh, that's quite interesting. Well, actually, this looks more like the infrared sensor. But then again, if you actually place it here, I'm not sure why you would have an infrared sensor here. So I'm trying to figure out whether it's actually that one there or that one there. And we got the magnetic uh, joint here that you could actually join to the neighboring friend of another ear leak and so on. So we're going to try that later on. And this is where you put in your USB-C to charge it and so on. So really excited about it. Let's get on with it by charging it. So here it goes. All right, so that cable is now plugged into my computer and let's see if this works. So it's actually on the back side. Ah, here it goes. So Elik is now charging. Look at that, three of them being charged at the same time. Just so you know, so this black wire is connected to my laptop. Um, so it's charging well. And the second one on the left, I believe, is being charged by this plug here, which is from Robot Creator DX. Okay, so that's been charging it. And the third one, surprisingly, is from the Google Pixel wireless charging stand uh, cable. This, is, this has a very good history of not being compatible with most of the USB plug uh, devices but it works so speaking about the pixel stand charger look at that that looks quite nice actually so i can actually place my c flip 4 next to it and that will be a nice decoration overall on my desktop so yippee right so you can see here three of them are now fully charged for 100 percent within 10 to 15 minutes of charging interestingly all three, three different sorts of power charging and within about minute span, they have been reached to 100%. So enough said, let's actually try turning it on. Ah, so this is the turn on button, okay? Okay, so let's focus on the first one. So let's start by petting his head. So as you're petting his head, you can feel the bit of a vibration. That's very cool. Okay, so that means it's working. So, Eli, calm down. You're at a new home, okay? Let's actually rub its belly. So when you actually are doing properly, um, you can feel the vibration, reminding you that you're doing it correctly. You're in the right sensor, okay? Um, and if you're in the back as well, if you rub in the back, yeah, you can feel the vibration. That means you're actually rubbing the back as well. For some reason, Elik is very aggressive. Maybe Elik needs a friend, but let's tap its head. Calm down. Elik, calm down. Elik, calm down. Elik, calm down. There you go. So now it's actually calmed down a bit. So let's slap the table. Okay, let's slap the table again. Okay, so calm down. I think he got scared. Let's actually shake his head. Come on. Are you feeling dizzy now? I think the, so that's basically the things that you can actually explore from the uh, main page. And um, so it has different personality and expressions here. So at the moment, it started to be very aggressive initially, but now it's a bit confused and sad. So let's try to um, try some of the other functions. So this is the function button. Um, I'm not sure about the heart, but the next one is left and right. Uh, this is the game that is actually shown on the manual. So let's play that, shall we? Okay, left or right. Um, I think it's the, okay. So you gotta wait until left or right, okay? So let's try. Okay. Again, let's try that. Left or right, okay.
Uh, so there's nothing so Elik is teasing me. Okay, so left or right? Let's try right then. Yay, I found the treasure. So that's how you do the left and right, okay? Uh, next one is called the dance to beat, okay? So I don't know whether you can see from the um, instruction manual, that's basically the symbol for that. So to be able to start, you just press on the top to initiate. So now you can see that Elik is listening to my sound, but I have to do the clap, okay? Okay, let's stop doing that. Let's, I'll show you it again. So what you have to do is clap, to different beats and Elik will respond to your clap. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, so it's similar to um, Vector. So that's how um, Elik responds to your clap sound or your beat, okay? Third one is a uh, talking toy. Uh, from the uh, manual, so basically it will talk back to you. Okay, so let's try that out How are you? Hi. Welcome to LJP tech channel That's cool. Okay, so it's keep talking back to you. This is really cool. It's much better than I thought it's gonna be It's like a parrot, isn't it? Okay, so next one is called the monster shooter. So you have to choose the weapon and then shoot. Okay, so I think that one looks cool. Okay, so let's shoot. Oh, I see. So you've got to make sure the aim goes on to the monster at the right time and then shoot. Oh, so that's how you do it. So you got to press the actual thing on the top um, to be able to shoot the rope, um, the monster. Okay, so let's try that again. So once, if you don't attack the monster, it will actually shoot you disgusting squirts. Okay, so that's how you destroy the monster. Okay, that's another cool game. I'm really starting to like this robot. It's really cool. Okay, so next one is called the puppet toy. Um, so I believe it will actually follow through the uh, way how you move it. So let's try that out. Okay. And then do I press it? Um, okay, right. So it's like rotate heads and hand pose and then touch sensor to change expression all right so it's oh i see so basically you could when you take photographies um of groups for instagram purpose right that's how you do it so you can freely move the head of elik and also the hand that's what the puppet mode is for Right, so next one is called the countdown timer. You could go up to 99 minutes. Okay, that's not good. So let's try to do one minute and then uh, proceed. Okay, so I think it's working now with the heart sign. Um, so let's see and wait after what happens in one minute. Okay, so a minute has passed. So Elik is actually reminding me that a minute has passed. To be able to stop it, you just click on the top. So it goes back to normal. So this is called the Pomodoro timer. So you can use it for work time and break time and so on. So let's press that. It's the same thing actually. So you could actually set your time. This is for the 10 minutes. Uh, let's actually zoom in and show it to you. This is for the 10 minutes uh, region and this is for the single digit uh, region of minutes. And then you just start, okay? Now lastly, this is for settings. So you can change the screen brightness and also the noise, I understand. So this is the brightness. Okay, so this is how you change the uh, brightness. And this is how you change the noise because I noticed Ely was a bit too loud and you could get annoyed with it. And every time you stop, it actually reminds you how it sounds. So here it is. Okay, yeah. 
Now, this is the very exciting moment to proceed on. Let's actually mix and put the next, the, the other elites next to each other. So here it goes. Okay, so both power on. Okay, so you can see that they're very uh, customized. They don't move exactly the same. Um, and my first e-leak is very, very annoyed still. The third one is a bit sad. And it's very interesting because I think these two seem to have followed the same pattern while as this uh, third one seems to be a bit moody. So I, I hope uh, each of them comes with different personality, but certainly this one seems to stand out a bit, doesn't it? Anyhow, as we know, there's these um, magnetic sort of joints here. So let's join them together. So the moment of truth. I hope they won't get mad anymore. Oh, okay. So they're now three joined together. Rub one of them. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, they're moving the same direction. Okay, that's quite cool. So let's actually try one of those um, functions, shall we? Okay, so let's do the... Um, oh, these are different functions, okay. Did you see that? The animation have actually changed. So let's try the domino effect sign here, okay? So here it goes. Okay. Okay, so it's a bit different um, timing. Okay, so I guess that's the domino settings. Okay, let's try the different one, which is, I think this is just banging the head mode. Okay, let's try that one out. Cool. It says play, so let's press it. What is this? Okay, I'm trying to figure out what this is for. This is a game. Do I press it every time when it shows a symbol? Okay, that was very weird. So let's try to play a game again. 60 seconds. Okay. Ah, so do I have to not press the bomb gun? Okay. So I think it's just the game is not to choose the bomb or something. Is that how the game works? Oh, okay. So you're not supposed to press the wizard. Anyhow, that's the game. Now let's try the most exciting, promising symbol of all, the party mode. So here it goes. Ah, okay. That's cool. So you have to press the head. I guess you could have fun with two. Um, if you want the extra function, you can add the three, but I think two and three, they're pretty much the same. Just got another additional unit to play around with, okay? So I had so much fun reviewing these three robots, three Elix here, and yeah, I can see the reason why um, someone would want to get these robots, because um, um, not only it talks back to you, which is quite fun, it also laughs back to you as well in the end, and also you can actually group it together so it actually uh, dance and move together, say hello to each other, you can play games to each other as well, even a single individual unit as well, you could have so much different fun with as well. So imagine if you place this on your car or on your office desk, you'll have plenty of fun. And if you want it to go quiet, you can either turn it off or keep it into silent mode as well. Now I do get the puppet mode as well. I can see a lot of people doing a bit of a little bit of animation here and there, and you can change the expression of it as well. And yeah, you can almost create another sort of small sequence of um, animation series. And I have seen some YouTubers already into that. So if you want to create that sort of series with eLeak, this is a perfect product you should get. So I believe this is actually now available um, 
outside of the crowdfunding campaign for 129 US dollars. I really consider that, that to be really cheap if you consider Vector to be around 300 US dollars. Two of these is cheaper than a standard Vector price, if you see what I mean. So um, it kind of encouraged you to buy at least two, but I got three here and they actually work together as good friends and uh, yeah. Overall, you'll have so much fun with these e-leaks and I actually consider though it's less of an automated uh, comparing to Vector robot, um, just being stationed on my desk knowing that it's not going to move so that I could actually slowly interact with this robot. It's great fun indeed and yet you could group to each other to create a bit of a party of your own small world as well. So I hope this video, the first impression of Elix, helped you understand about what this Elix is about. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye-bye. <laughs>